Hey guys, we're back. We are in Chesapeake, Virginia, zip code 23321. This is the Western Branch portion of Chesapeake. And we are in the lovely community called Point Elizabeth. We've actually sold a few homes back here. One of my best friends um, lived here as well. We helped them sell their home and buy their, buy their next home. I love this neighborhood, one, because I know a lot of people who live here and they're just really good people. Two, because I know people who live here, I know what an awesome community of neighbors they are to each other. There's a lot of kids in the neighborhood, uh, lots of families, and then you also have your uh, senior citizens that live here too that have been here for years and years and years that are, yeah, they bought a ranch home 20 years ago and they're still staying. And they're the sweetest people. Everyone in this neighborhood knows each other. They all look out for each other. It's the kind of community when you move in here, you'll probably have someone knocking on your door, bringing you some freshly baked cookies. Um, they're just like, those people. Everyone takes really good care of their yards here. The yards are all really good size too. I don't think there's one, I don't think that there's any locations here that are less than about a third of an acre. So most of the houses here have really good backyard spaces. And the cool thing about that is people take really good care of their homes here, but there is no HOA. So you don't have a property owners association uh, that you have to pay a monthly due to or someone telling you what you can do. If you wanna paint your door Tiffany blue, you can do that and you don't have to ask permission. So with that in mind, I think if you are looking for a Chesapeake community that's really family friendly, very conveniently located, this is the spot for you and I would highly suggest looking at it. Let's talk about the homes here. So the houses that you're gonna see are gonna range from about 1,600 square feet all the way up to 6,880 square feet. That's the largest home in the community. Yes, people wave here and I just love neighborhoods where people wave, it's the cutest thing ever. So your prices here are gonna range between that 280 mark for those smaller homes, the 1600 square foot houses, um, all the way up to about the last most expensive home that sold here, uh, sold for 735. Um, that was a waterfront home. Um, so you have a, a variety there. There are some houses that are appraised for higher than that 725-ish, uh, so you're probably gonna go up to the million dollar mark here, but most of the houses are in that $400,000 $400, range. So you can get in here between 350 and 450 and get a beautiful home. They're all really well maintained. Yeah, that's pretty much what you're looking for for price. This community was pretty much established in the early 70s. So most of these houses are built between like 1974 and 1988. That's, that's about the age range you're gonna see. And so you've got your traditional ranch home, kind of a colonial style, traditional colonial style home. And then you're gonna have a few modern houses, and these are pretty much the ones that were built later on down the road. There's a few waterfront lots in this community that actually look out the um, Elizabeth Branch, and they're beautiful homes, uh, very well built, and those are gonna be the more pricey ones, and those are a little bit on the newer side. So you have a lot of brick in this community as well, uh, which is really awesome. Uh, if you're looking at new construction, you'll find that there aren't a lot of brick homes being built right right now and that's because brick is just so expensive uh, so you have to really really want it or you have to buy resale to get brick around here so I just shot out some of the positives the pros about this community let's talk about a few cons so one would be there aren't any sidewalks so some people that's really really important uh, in this community itself there are no sidewalks but you do have really wide roads and the people that drive through here actually drive really safely uh, because they know that there's kids playing in the neighborhood like all the time you're always going to see some kid riding their bike or playing in the street so it's it's really common and people know that and they look out for the kids around here another con of this community is there's about 200 homes here in the last 365 days that is a whole year so in the last calendar year there have only been 28 houses sold in this community so they're really, you got about 10% of the houses are on the market that you can buy in a year's time. So that's, um, you know, 
There's right now there's one active listing in this community and actually it's under contract already. So if you're looking here, you need to be able to pull the trigger fast if you find a house that you like in this community because they go really, really fast. People hold on to their homes here because they love it here so much. Proximity. We are, again, we're in the Western Branch portion of Chesapeake. That's zip code 23321. We are a seven minute drive to the Chesapeake Square shopping area, which is like Portsmouth Boulevard and the um, I-664 interchange. Uh, going the other way, you are a hop, skip and a jump to the Churchland area of Portsmouth. It's literally like a mile and a half down the road. Um, so from there, you're really close to the high street area, which means you're also very close to the Coast Guard base in Portsmouth. You're also probably about a 15 minute drive to the Naval Hospital in Portsmouth, which means you're about 15 minutes to downtown Portsmouth, 17 minutes to downtown Norfolk. Uh, if you're gonna go towards Suffolk, and the peninsula, you're about, probably about a 15 to 17 minute drive also there to the Monitor Merrimack Bridge Tunnel. So it's kind of a, the heart of this hub here of Chesapeake, Suffolk, Portsmouth, Norfolk. You can get to pretty much all of those cities within a 10 to 15 minute drive, which is really convenient. A lot of people in this neighborhood actually work, live here, but they work in the um, other ends like the south portion of Chesapeake or even Virginia Beach and Norfolk. So it's not uncommon for people who live here to have a tw 20 to 30 minute commute. There's a few really fun restaurants close by that I would highly suggest. Um, one being Guad's, of course it's a Mexican restaurant. Sorry everybody, um, kind of obsessed. So Guad's has a location in downtown Portsmouth which is about 18 minutes from here, which means you're close to all of the other restaurants in downtown Portsmouth as well. But if you go the other direction to the College Drive area of Suffolk, which is like eight minutes from here, uh, then you've got a lot of opportunity for really good and local restaurants. Um, Guad's is out there as well. You're about 15 minutes to Decoys, which is actually not in Chesapeake, it's in Suffolk, but it's a beautiful waterfront restaurant and I highly recommend going there if you haven't been there yet. There's a really fun coffee shop in the Chesapeake Square area. It's called Gather. A lot of people gather there. <laughs> it's actually, they've got really good food. They've got amazing drinks. They don't just serve coffee. My daughter goes there all of the time and gets these like fun, fancy, cold teas. So you can have a lot of fun there as well. Uh, so if you're looking for a spot that's not Starbucks, you can go there. There's actually a Starbucks like two minutes from this neighborhood. So if you're obsessed with Starbucks, you can get Starbucks every morning before you leave and go to work. All right, so let's talk about those schools. Um, this is the Western Branch portion of Chesapeake. So you are designated to the Western Branch public school system. So it's Western Branch High, Western Branch Middle, and Western Branch Elementary. They're actually all right like down the street um, from this neighborhood. So you're in really close proximity to your children, which is really nice and gives a lot of people peace of mind knowing that their kids are like right down the street during the school day. School buses are awesome here. They go in and out for all of the schools there. Uh, they, they are the Western Branch Bruins and they're pretty much known for like their wrestling, baseball, softball, soccer. I mean, I know they have basketball and I know they probably have football, but they're mostly known for those other sports. You've got the YMCA close by to here. You've got a One Life close by to here. So you really do have everything you would need in close proximity to this neighborhood to um, have an awesome lifestyle and really enjoy where you live. Uh, so thank you so much for driving around with me and the Wrangler one more time. Uh, this is Rachel Beasley. Jonathan's out there doing amazing real estate things. Uh, we are professionals in real estate and passionate about people. I'll see you next time.